This spring, one of the biggest trends you'll see actually won't be so new at all. It's all about adding some modern twists to timeless trends. That's right. And Liliana met up with Self Magazine's Lindsay Huggins to find out how. Woman has basics and classics in her closet. So today we're here at Self Magazine with senior fashion editor Lindsay Huggins, and she's going to show us how to give these fun, fresh classics an updated spin. Right, Lindsay? Yes, I'm so excited. There are things that are in your closet that are staples that you've had forever that you can actually put a new spin on. So our first look is a take on the classic ship dress. This one is by Millie, and what's great is that we're used to seeing a loose-fitted ship dress in a very subtle print, and what's nice about this is that it's in an abstract. It's vivid, it's fun, something you could wear to the office, and very figure-flattering. Now, Lindsay, does a ship dress work on every body type? Definitely, because there's no waistline, so it's very, very friendly. And very, very cute. Adorable. <laughs> So our next model is Lori, and Lori is modeling a great look from Rebecca Taylor, and it's all about the preppy sweater. What's great about this look is that she's bringing in the neutral palette of the dress with also the pop of color in the pink. This is definitely a new take on a preppy classic, making it very cool and playful with the necklace. And this is actually a sweater layered over a dress. Exactly. So you can make your dress basically into a skirt just by putting a sweater over 100%, it. 100%, and it's really fun to mix the texture. She's mixing the cashmere with the silk but you could also do this with a cotton or a wool. Now, Lindsay, I love the idea of shorts, but I always feel so casual and not cool in them. <laughs> I'm going to show you how to dress them up. Our next model, Catherine, is wearing a J. Crew short and a nice pop of primary color, also available in neon. The scalloped hem is very, very ladylike and kind of brings a freshness and unique aspect to the look. And what's great is that it's paired with this Zara shirt, masculine mixed with feminine. And I see little touches of neon through her outfit, which I know for me, I'm all about neon, and this is a very wearable way to wear neon. Definitely. <laughs> it's subtle, but definitely making a statement. Now, the circle skirt is something that's been in fashion for decades, but how do you make it feel modern? What you do is, models here by Amber, you want to find a circle skirt that's in a fun print. She's in a floral Marc Jacobs skirt, and we're really having a good time by pairing it with this Gap gingham blouse. It's so much fun to kind of play with the patterns here and really embrace the trends. Now, I love mixing prints, but is there one kind of golden rule to successfully mixing prints? Definitely. Your golden rule is you don't want to mix two bold prints together. One of them should be a little bit more subtle and in a muted palette than the other. Lindsay, thank you so much for showing us how to really update all of these classics that are already in our closet. I cannot wait for spring. Me too. I love that polka dot dress, the red one and black. Me too. So cute. That's going to look very cute on you once you have the baby. Like next fall. <laughs>